He's about to come. Yeah, he's here. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, sorry for a little delay. We had to undergo through some official procedures. Now the champ is in the house. You are very welcome to ask several questions, and we have to go back again. Thank you for the questions. We can go back again. Yes, please. How, Alexander, first of all, be the Vitalians, and second of all, you saw how many people of your own people came. What does it mean to you know, get your victory in front of so many of your own fans? These people are incredible. I'm very special, special people, but I thank you, my country, I, I thank you, my uh, followers, but uh, it's great. Thank you so much. У нас в Україні зараз великі проблеми, у нас війна. We some we have some big troubles in Ukraine. The war is in Ukraine. І для тих хлопців, які зараз боронять нашу країну на передовій, це такий невеличкий глоток повітря. And for those guys who are defending our country on the front line, it's a breath of fresh air. А я готовий для свого народу все своє повітря віддавати. And I am ready to give all of my air, fresh air, to my people. Alexander, um, yeah. a lot of people online were saying that the shot that put you down was a legal shot. Bullshit. What do you make of the reactions of people online saying that it was a legal shot and that it should have been counted as a knockdown? What's your reaction? Uh, let me show you a picture. <coughs> Maybe someone can see, enlarge it, what kind of illegal blow it was. Or legal, maybe. Do we have a definition of legal and illegal? Russ, can you give us the, the legal side of it? What is the definition of legal and illegal? The belly button is the line. Belly button is the line. Anything below that is a low blow. Anything below that is a low blow. So if you're hitting the pants, it's not a legal blow. If you're hitting the pants, <laughs> the blow is not legal. Thank yeah. you, Russ. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's legal punch. But, uh, yeah. Some yeah. people it's say online, that online, the punch was legal. Online, a lot of the reaction was. Ah, come on, online means to me. No, 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 no. Okay, the listen, professional, listen. Professional boxers were saying it looks like it was a legal shot. That's what they were saying online. Uh, okay. Professional boxers, world champions. UK. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. One fight and tomorrow. In the rematch. In the street fight. I'm ready. Fair enough. Tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> not, uh, not boxing gloves, but a street fight. Not uh, hands, legs, legs feet. not legs, only fists. Bare fists. Alexander, this team say they want a rematch in the ring. Will you do a rematch with it? They said that they want to win a rematch. Everyone, everyone wants the rematch after he loses, so it's normal. But with all the respect to Daniel Dubois, who we respect as our guest and our opponent, uh, it's difficult to, you know, to express respect 
for the way they treated the fight, for the way they wanted to get the victory. Uh, well, sometimes it happens when you hit someone with an illegal blow. Yeah, it's normal. But you, when you keep doing this on purpose, it means that uh, you have some kind of dirty plan. And uh, boxing is uh, pure arts. It's a pure um, sports, and it has to stay pure. That's why the guy has to deserve his rematch. <laughs> you are not allowed to hit the man in his balls. And listen, boxing, boxing, it's uh, it's sport and the gentleman. It's not a street fight. It's a boxing. <coughs> it's a boxing. It's a boxing. Say it again. Do you think he was being dirty during the whole fight? I think it was a bit dirty Bruce no being dirty. I don't have idea. I have no idea. No. Maybe. Yeah. maybe but... I don't think Alexander would have been dirty що ти не зможеш піднятися. Чи ти вже тоді чувствував, що тобі треба чуть-чуть більше часу, але ти піднімешся? Е, були думки такі, тому що трошки спина почала, ну, не тільки те місце, але трошки в спині почало відтягувати, але я розумів, що підніматися обов'язково треба. Тому що якщо ти залишаєшся на підлозі, то ти залишаєшся на підлозі. Як би воно не боліло, воно і зараз болить. Але треба підніматися і доводити це до кінця. Все те, що ми робимо зараз не тільки в рингу, а в нашій країні. Олександр. Олександр, with the great reception you had in this stadium tonight, would you be looking to fight here again? Із таким прийомом, який сьогодні був на стадіоні, чи ти б розглянув ще можливість тут битися? На стадіоні на цьому? Так, в цьому місці. Of course. Yeah, it's good atmosphere, it's good stadium, but uh, good uh, people. Crowd. Alex, um, just a second, please. Go. On. Mr. Russia, first of all, congratulations on your great victory. And, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. You have made your stand perfectly clear regarding the support of Ukrainian army. Uh, how do you think that your victory can help як думаєш, твоя перемога може допомогти цим солдатам, яких ти підтримуєш, офіцерам, які воюють зараз за Україну? Як твоя перемога допомагає їм? Мотивує. Тут хлопці, у нас багато хлопців, які на передовій... Чи може твоя перемога привернути додаткову увагу світу до того, що відбувається в Україні? Напевно так. Дайте нам круту зброю. It's all over the world. Daniel Seem said otherwise tonight. That's why I'm asking. What do, what do you mean? That they said otherwise. They said that it was discussed at the rules meeting. That's why I'm asking. Not with us. Umar. Yes. Normally, at the rules meeting, it is discussed that if a fighter hits someone on purpose There's two points below the belt, he has to be punished for two points. Any intentional foul. If he does it twice, he can be punished again or disqualified upon the discretion of the referee. Let me clear you a little bit, guys. The rules meeting, we don't talk about the low blows. The low blow is discussed, then referee and inspectors coming to the locker room and giving the rules. And they say always, they come and say, watch your low blows. 
Everything up to the belly button up is okay. Everything below the belly button is no good. Make sure where you, where you keep your, your trunk line. So everything is on top of a trunk line. If a, if a punch lands, hits the skin and the trunk, that's okay. Can be. Some referees may say not okay. But when you see everything is, his hand lays right on the bell, second of all, it's then you hit from top, that's a different story. But then you hit from, like a doing like an uppercut, which is was done in this case. And it's hit, the, the glove landed completely on the trunk line. Under it. Uh, under, like under, yeah. under, under, around the belt. So it is, it is a low blow. Unfortunately for IFL. Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Ну, коли її побачив трошки запереживав за неї, щоб вона не переживала. Але я думаю, що якщо Петюха вискочила, вона б не могла накидати пацану. Катерина може це зробити, ну я знаю, що в неї справа нормальна плюха, вона з тим ми там працювали, вона працювала на лапах, так що. Але коли чоловіки розбираються, треба, я розумію емоції дружини, переживає, звичайно, але коли я вже підійшов, коли закінчився раунд, і я підійшов, то я побачив емоції, я сказав, заспокойся, зараз дай мені час. Can you translate? Yeah. Can you ask me next time in advance? <laughs> yeah, so okay, I'm doing this now. Okay, so next question will be translated. Alexander, can I ask you outside of the low blow, whether it was a low blow or not, uh, can you tell me what you think of Daniel Dubois as a fighter, uh, whether he can win in the future one of those world titles, and how he compares to the other British fighters that you've fought? А розкажи, будь ласка, стосовно вже не будемо говорити про удари нижче пояса, стосовно Деніла Дюбуа, як ти вважаєш, чи е, може він, спроможний він завоювати в майбутньому один із цих поясів? Maybe. Later. But it's uh, uh, depends on, depends on uh, Daniel Dubois. How Daniel Dubois and the board, but thing maybe I, I have no idea. I'm not coach and uh, Daniel Dubois. Bashir is coach. And <laughs> how different is the how different is the level? Sorry. How different is the level between you and Dubois? How different is the level between you and Dubois? It's up to people to decide. <laughs> Du Bois below the belt. Uh, who was asking a question? Yeah, go ahead. So can I read you what Don Charles said about the rules? But, uh, about, can I read you what Don Charles said about the rules? In, read, please read. When the referee came to read us our rules prior to the fight and asked them if there was anything we wanted to request, we said yes. Make sure Usyk's groin guard is in the right place because I know he wears it high. In most of his fights, he makes out like the opposition fighters hit him low. It's a trick of his and should be stamped out. I don't like when people cheat. There's no two ways about it. What's your thoughts on that? Thank you. Yeah. For it, it's a long story. I mean, it's complicated to translate now to Alexander Usyk and then to hear but his reaction. The, Let me do it after. More the, the, the yeah, cheat. it's. I mean, Don Charles said the long story about what was happening and the locker room before and uh, make sure that he's wearing he's wearing it normal i mean the, the way he used to wear it so uh, don charles після uh, поєдинку сказав що як була роздягальні зустрічі з рефері то вони uh, наголошували на тому що обов'язково рефер має послідкувати бузик постійно носить uh, ті шорти десь uh, бозна де дуже високо і що це велика проблема Його треба прокоментувати. Тобто Усик 
винуватий в тому, що в нього шорти надіти. Якщо ми станемо в ринзі і подивимося, як у Сикаєв Дюбуа були шорти вдягнуті, то це однакова висота. If we look at Usyk and Dubois in the ring, my shorts like this, this, not this. This is this is how to, how he comments like. Офигеть, у Усика шорти були високі. Комедія. Він програв і каже, що в нього в мене шорти були. Я можу без шорт не боксувати. Скажи, я пам'ятаю. Він каже, що як може Усик бути винен у вирішенні шорти? Я маю, що виробництво не виробництво від Усика вирішення шорти, але від виробництво виробництво, хтось виробництво. That's why he cannot be guilty of it. Uh, he can, he propose that he is ready to fight without shorts at all. Chris. Yes, Alexander, uh, Tyson Fury would have been watching this fight. Do you have a message for him and are you going to fight him next? Tyson Fury, мабуть, дивився цей поєдинок, чи є в тебе для нього меседж і чи збираєшся ти з ним битися? Якщо він хоче, я хочу. If he wants it, I want it. Ти хай появиться на б'є. But uh, let he not uh, beat me in, uh, below the belt. Sounds rude. Чи потрібен тобі бій з Тайсоном Ф'юрі до того, як ти підеш на пенсію? Yes, of course. Ми бачили, як ти розмовляв із Деніелом Дюбо в нього в куті. Ти можеш сказати, що ти йому сказав? Я читав інформацію. Радіо Дюбуа каже, якщо я виграв, я виграв. Я виграв. Я виграв, так. Я виграв, що це не добре. Ти маєш тримати боксу. Ти маєш тримати. Ти маєш тримати. Можливо, це ступить мене, але якщо я виграв цей фіт, I get out and box. That might be, maybe it's emotion, but I don't know. Are you nervous tonight? You've got your home fans and so many people expecting. Ты нервовался сегодня перед своими фанами? Така кількість підтримки в тебе була, чи був тремо? Little bit. Little, little bit. What's the situation with Hergovic uh, under tree? Sorry? The situation with Hergovic, is he next? Because he's the mandatory call. Uh, listen, it's, uh, Hergovic is a mandatory, but if we're going to get the unification, we're going to go for unification. If unification is not done, of course, the Hergovic would be next. Will you guys make an offer to Queensbury, or are you going to wait for them to make an offer? That's kind of like a team secret, okay? Let's call that. <laughs> I revealed one last time. Alexander, but we're working on it. Alexander, do you think, obviously, you've, you've sold 40,000 tickets here. Do you think, obviously, in the Tyson Fury build-up, there was a bit of a debate about the split. Do you think that you've shown how valuable of an asset you are into the fight and it could make the negotiations a bit easier for a possible Fury fight? Let me ask you a question. Just, sorry for it. Uh, would Tyson Fury sell 40,000 tickets uh, in Roslau? What do you, you think? Fighting Daniel Dubois. Would he? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either.
Do you want me still to translate your question? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Alexander, were you disappointed to see uh, your old coach in the corner for Daniel Dubois? No. Слухайте. These are the grown-up games. І вони грали в якусь ігру. And they were playing some game. По нашим правилам. On our rules. And the question? Just to comment. Хеленіус yeah, uh, здав позитивний допінг тест після поєдинку з Джошуа. Mm -hmm. Таке питання. Я ж тут до чого, що вони жруть щось. Він не гілти знову. Він не гілти знову. Коли ти почав відчувати, що ти виграєш поєдинок? З першого раунду. З першого раунду. Дякую. 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 Дякую.